All right, Shalom, Shalom, first and foremost, let uh, give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushah, Bahashim, Rechach, Kodash, the Ba'anas to the elders and the apostles that do well overseeing the tabernacle of David, which are the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. <clears throat> Greetings, salutations to you, Akim, upon the testimony of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh, Shah, in truth and sincerity. Man, I was trying to get this lesson done last night or earlier this morning. Man, Apple can drop dead. You know, I didn't have a... <laughs> it was frustrating, man. You know, just, you know, trying to manage this space on this fickle-ass phone. These people thinking they're on the level with their technology. Why the hell? And I shouldn't have to, you know, this, this shouldn't be an issue, man. Showing you Esau and his degenerate behavior. He, you know, he just can't bring forth legitimacy. Everything is partial. Oh, this is never enough. We got to take it another step. Why can't it be whole from the beginning? Absolutely ridiculous, man. She like you, you know. But um, I will continue on with this lesson of edification. It's, it's going to be go. It's be part of me. It's going to go in. It's going to go into the. The reconciliation of the nation of Israel with the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, who are the progenitors of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. And of course, you see them um, in the form of the so-called Blacks and Hispanics, Native Indians of the North and, and South America. Southern America, meaning North and South America. Um, likewise, they're scattered throughout the four corners. You might catch a dab of them in the midst of the Pashtuns. You might catch them some in the Punjabi. You know, of course, West Africa heavily concentrated. The Igbo, the Shanti, uh, the Yoruba. Nevertheless. The point is the reconciliation. You know, the, you know, you go into Spain, you go into uh you know, Sicily. Mm hmm You go into the southern parts of Egypt, you know, because during the time of the Persian Achaemenid Empire, there was a big community of Israelites there who held the military garrison uh for the Persians for, you know, Cambyses and Xerxes, going down to Xerxes, so on and so forth. Um, but the the lesson is regarding the reconciliation of these people um, to the Heavenly Father Yahweh. And I and I don't I did, I did not say Yahweh Shai because Yahweh Shai is the enactor, or may I say the mediator of this process of reconciliation. <clears throat> Pardon me. This is uh, Colossians, and pardon me for my voice if I may up. Uh, Late taking care of certain things, and you know, just woke up not too long ago. My Lord, when this is edifying, uh, so this is the book of Colossians. And if I may, this is also partially inspired by uh, the Apostles to Heart lesson or video that he did uh, regarding this Edomite scholar or teacher, whatever he is who spoke some vain words regarding uh, the Bible. Uh, some some um, degenerate called them, saying that his son is a part of the Hebrew Israelites, and asking, he's asking this, this Edomite questions. And this Edomite, he said, see, who's a deceiver? But you got to understand the deceit and the deceiver are his young man. 
who's calling us black Hebrew. When, when, when have we called ourselves black Hebrew Israelites? Other than Sakari, I think I've seen them degenerates do that one time. We are not black Hebrew Israelites. We are Hebaibaria Yasha Allah. That is our proper term. We are Hebrew Israelites. And there's nothing about it. Not, nothing about us is black. You have Hispanics who are Hebrew Israelites. You have individuals in Romania. You have individuals in Deutschland. You have individuals in Spain. You have individuals uh, in Italy that look of a white descent in Holland, in Britain, who look of a, a, a Caucasian persuasion from a physical appearance, but they're Hebrew Israelites. What about them? But see, none of you guys ever, you don't acknowledge them. You don't, you, and you're very rude and disrespectful at that. How about that? And how about this? You're not white. How about this? You are Edomites. You descend from Edom. Edom in the in the in the scriptures. How about that? You damn degenerates. We're not black Hebrew Israelites. There's nothing about our color. First of all, we're not black. I'm not. I'm dark skinned. I'm not black. And we don't identify ourselves based upon color. We're not carnal like you. Like you. Uh, you fleshly vessels, you natural man, you brute beasts. We're spiritual creatures. We judge all things based upon the spirit. Now, of course, it goes back to the bloodline, the genetic code that one's makeup has. But our, our identification of that is not based upon your records. What, you know, your, you know, us going and doing some blood sample from Esau's fraudulent um, laboratory to see if you're Israelite. No, it's based upon the spirit. As it is written in the book of Romans, the 8th chapter in the 16th verse, the spirit itself bear witness. And when you go into that term, bear witness, wow. <clears throat> because I'm thinking about the Hebrew, and I'm sure that's in Greek, but I'm thinking about the Hebrew term, aina, or, or ainoan, if I'm not mistaken. Let me get this. Open this book real quick, which means witness. It means uh testify or to testify and the other word or which it also means to answer so if i may uh read it from that perspective uh the spirit itself answers the spirit itself you know answers i'm, I'm replacing i'm making it that word interchangeable for the word that is there in the king james witness the spirit itself witness Unto ourselves, man, let me just grab it. Let me just grab it. Because that I'm I'm making that comparison from a Hebraic mind frame, but that is written in Greek. So let me go ahead and grab that in um Romans. Yeah, man. These very frustrating having to go through, you know, making sure you have enough space in your phone. It's very frustrating, but Nevertheless, um, it's Romans eight and sixteen. So we don't base the we don't we're faith based. All right, it said they said the just shall live by their faith, young man. So you Edomite, you Edomite scholar. I don't know what you are a scholar or a teacher. You're fugazi to say the least. All right, and we're in. The Israelites, indeed, this man is trying to act like, oh, they believe that they are the direct descendants of the biblical. Absolutely, we are the direct descendants of the people of the promise. We are. Archaeology proves it. Biblical prophecy proves it. How do you get past the forced migration of Deuteronomy 28th chapter and the 68th verse? Do I have to read? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. It says, the Lord thy God shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way, there have I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. It said, we're not going to see our homeland again. It says, there you should be sold unto your enemies. Right after, it said, he's going to bring us into the land of captivity in ships. Then it said, we're going to be sold unto our enemies for bun man and bun woman, slave man and slave woman, and no man shall buy you. So is that, is that not biblical prophecy? Is the transatlantic slave trade not the biggest event that ever happened in history? You asshole. You succubus demon. Because you're a fornicator. He wants, he wants us to be fornicators uh, against our God. We're not going to follow your degenerate low life philosophy. Your nigger art philosophy. All right.
It was very offensive. It was very offensive listening to that degenerate speak. And you are a Edomite. You are the devil the Bible speaks of. How about that? How about, matter of fact, how about I go to, since you, oh, it's, it's God does not choose. It's the, the, the seed of the promise is the people who believe in Jesus Christ. One thing that's not his name, young man. Two things. God, so how you so you gonna say God doesn't choose the people? You gonna say God doesn't have the the people of the promise? The people of the promise are not Israel. Are you are you really willing to say that out of that vain mouth that the Lord has given you? Let's see real quick. It's just to shut your ass up real quick. This is Romans chapter nine verse thirteen. As it is written, Jacob have I looked. Now this is in the New Testament, New Testigo. All right. It says, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. This is written in the New Testament. What are you talking about? It, the book of Hebrews tells you that there's, lest there be any perverse or prone fame person as Esau, who was a fornicator. Out, profane means outside of the temple. Do we, do we really have to go, go through this Bible to cut you up, to expose you for your for your um, uh, magical dis Disney-like um, breakdown of the Bible? Your cartoon network Nickelodeon-based breakdown, breakdown of the Bible? Your fairy tale Santa Claus Christmas house-based Bible breakdown? It says, what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. So are you going to say it's unrighteousness with God, but God say he hates you because he hates the so-called white race? And not because of your skin, absolutely not. You have, so, you have people who look like white, look like they're Edomites. They have white pigmentation, as one might say, or lack of pigmentation, one might, one might say. But they're Israelites. You have some the lack, of, lack of pigmentation that are Moabites. That are, they're um, uh, Ishmaelites. So it's not about your skin color. That are Africans. That are actual Egyptians. They've had a go that their seed goes back to Mizraim, but they look like so-called white people. You have that on this earth. So it's not about the skin color. That's because you are a carnal brute beast, and you the only thing you can base something off of is what you see before your eyes. But you're on a low level. You're on a really, really low spiritual level. It says, it, it, it said, what should we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. And you are going into slavery. For your profanity that you have um, spit out your mouth. And not only what you just said, it's for what your, your forefathers have done. It's for, almost, it's for trying to exterminate the Native American Indians, which are the children of God, the Israelites, according to the Bible. It's for that. And, and, and you guys are acting like it's not... It's not records. It's not archaeology. It's not relics proving us proving that we're Israelites. Are you serious? What about the Bat Creek Stone, huh? What about the Los Lunas Stone with the with the with the Ten Commandments written in the Paleo Hebrew in New Mexico? What about that? What about the fringes and the borders of blue that the Native Americans wear, huh? Get the fuck out of here, you losers! You guys are losers. That 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 little low level breakdown, that shit is played out. Everybody knows that we're the Israelites at this point, unless you just a, a legitimate zombie, a bird brain Negro zombie, or some Edomite desperately in denial. Come to us with that bullshit, damn demon. So back to as I was speaking regarding. Romans, the eighth chapter, and the 16th verse. It said, the spirit itself, nigga, it said the spirit, and yes, you Edomites are niggas. You better, you, 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 Lord's gonna destroy y'all, man. But that's, this, we sick of the disrespect, man. We sick of you guys not putting respect on upon our name, man. Yes, we're the Israelites. And don't try to say anything else. Don't try to say anything other. If we're not the Israelites, who are we biblically? Who are you biblically? Using these modern terms, you're supposed to be on a level. You're supposed to know the Bible, but you can't, you can't identify the nations from their biblical terms? 
Please. Please. Pardon me. Drink some water. <clears throat> Hydration is key. <clears throat> Make sure you drink your spring water. <sighs> Alright, it says, um, it's the wrong verse. Go back to verse 16. Alright, verse 16. It says, it's the spirit itself. Bear of witness. And I'm sure that witness is probably test. No, it's not test ego. But uh, let's see. It's um. Uh, uh, ooh, which this is where you get the term martyr from. Uh, it's a simarte me simarte mio, simarte mio. Strong's G forty eight twenty eight, simartureo. Let me see here. Simar the mio. Simat. Simater mio. Simat. Pardon me. I'm mis. I'm mispronouncing that. Pardon me. It is uh simaterio. Simaterio. I don't know why I was putting the extra mind there. Uh, simaterio. I'm trying to get this to speak up. Strong's G forty eight twenty eight. Do it. Sumartureo. But um, nevertheless. Sumartureo. Which the true martyrs are those who bear the witness and testimony of Yahweh. When you go, let me go get that Hebrew word. I'm try to do it real quick. Here we go. Let's get the Hebrew. We gotta get the Hebrew. What was that? Problem is I'm in the Hebrew dictionary trying to find this. But it will be edifying when I do find it. So give me one second. It'll be very edifying. Um, I... So as, a, as you see that term, the bear of witness, you, you get this, where well, you get this term, uh the 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 Greek term uh sima simaterio which it comes from son as you can see this right here from son and from uh mar marte martero materio materio right here um materio which is to be a witness, to bear witness, to affirm that one has sent or heard or experienced something. Or that he knows it because taught by divine revelation or inspiration. So um, to honor, honorable testimony, give a good report. And what this Edomite, that white nigga was doing, he was giving a false report. That wasn't a good report. That was not a good report. That was a terrible report. And woo! Check the num check the numerical value. Right here it says from the um Mart Martes. Martes, which is G S um, pardon me, G3144. Woo! That's heavy. That's heavy. And see, that's and that's the spirit that's bearing witness. That you don't you don't even get it. These people, see, we 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 look at stuff like that. Oh. That is the indexes, or well, in the Greek term indexes, meaning evident token. That's proof and legit and, and validation for us when we see signs like that. Because the one one forty four represents the elect of the nation of Israel, and we see signs like that, numerical signs like that, when it's latched to the term martyr or or witness to testifier. We see that and we and we say, wow, that's that's a sign. But you guys, y'all don't even see that. You don't even consider. Why? Because you're on a low level. So I'm still going to get that Hebrew word, which the Greek is going essentially the same thing. It's, the Greek is validating what I'm trying to say. Um, but I did want to get the Hebrew. The Aibaria. Let me see. I, 
Anab. Shalakia. It takes a little bit of time to find it. Um Damn. Trying to see. Well, I can't find it right at this very moment. For some reason. I think I should. I don't want to find it so bad. It's like you. I want to find it so bad. Let's see. You know what? I think it's. Give me one, just one second. I. I. Right, perfect. Here it is. And I need to highlight this so I don't have to. It doesn't take this long for me to find it anymore. So I have it. Give me one second. Let me highlight it. Um, and there was another part of the dictionary. I think. No, this is this is it. This is it right here. Yep. This is all it right here. Yep. Perfect. Excellent. All right. So now. Concerning the term bearing witness, which we know in the Greek is simaterio, uh, which goes into the term martyr, which martyrdom or martyr is the one who testifies. So, but it's the, the, the same legitimacy or the same point is exercised when you go into the, the Hebrew. So, in the Hebrew, and this is from um, Ben Yehuda's Pocket English Hebrew, the Hebrew English Dictionary. <clears throat> so to, to answer, testify is the word Aina, which the word Aina means to answer, to testify. Uh, now, wh what is a martyr? A martyr is afflicted. A martyr is tortured. A martyr is killed. So the word humble, afflicted is uh, Ainan, which is the same derivative of that term, answer, to testify. Um, let's see. Let's go down. Affliction, torture is, uh, I, I know, I know what I know what ya, which is meaning to torture. Punish is, I I know wash. Affliction is I know waf. Humble is I know wafan. All right. So you get the point that I'm making. Um. Regarding the to be a martyr, a martyr is one who answers. If I if I'm not mistaken, the same Greek word probably should be there in the, in the book of Revelation, uh, and, and those who bear the testimony of our Lord and Savior Yahusha, who were beheaded, it said who were beheaded for the testimony of our Lord and Savior Yahusha. You know. And that is those are Israelites. Those are the elect. As you can see right here, G3144. That is a clear sign. Those are the elect. Alright. And it is the spirit of the elect. It's the spirit, it's the animated spirit of Yahweh or may I say the uh uh the uh Holy Spirit. Alright, the Holy Spirit. Is that is what gives us understanding, and that is our evident token, showing us who are the Israelites. That is our indexes, as it is written in the Greek. All right, so we don't need paperwork. We don't need you know. We don't need your validation, Esau. Esau, we've come to understand you are not on our level. Stand down, young man. We are dealing with a uh, supreme. We're dealing with the supreme Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. We've ascended to something way deeper than what you young man thought this was. That's why you can't stop it. That's why you got to send your troops in. You got to send your spe special forces in. And then on top of that, when you send them in, a standard gonna be raised. 
pursuing the what Isaiah prophesied. You're gonna send them in. I'm gonna let me let me tell you what's gonna happen. You're gonna send the special forces in, and you're gonna try to take us out, you're gonna try to kill us, and what's gonna end up happening is divine intervention is gonna take place. And the heavens are gonna open up. And the angels are going to step in and intervene for the Lord's people. And you are going to be beat into utter powder. And Yahweh Shah is going to return. And you're going to be hiding somewhere in your bunker, somewhere in your, in your military base, your underground, underground military base, saying, hide us from the face of the Lamb and he that sitteth on the throne. You're going, to, you're going to ask the rocks to fall on you. You know, please, I don't want to do it. I want to die. I want to, please hide us from the face of the Lamb. By that time, you so-called white man who was making that video, you're going to be dead by thermonuclear missiles, by the way. We're talking about the elite. When it, this, at this point, this is when the elect are going to, to, to hunt the elite. We're going hunting season with the elite. And they're going to they're gonna beg the rocks to fall on us. Please fall on us and hide us from the face of the Lamb. And it's, that's in the book of Revelations. That's in the book of Revelations. Matter of fact, let's get that. And then we're going to bring it back full circle. We're going back to Colossians. Yeah, you guys, you, you guys just need to stand down, man. Don't come up against us, man. You cannot. This is an impenetrable fortress, man. You can't touch us spiritually. You can, when it comes to these scriptures, just sit down. Just... Just go sit down somewhere, man. You have no authority in this regard. We will tell you in the Swiss cheese, man. This is like this is I liken us to the I liken us to the the the, the Roman legion going up against some some um um uh, some damsels on the battlefield. You can't touch us. You cannot touch us. This is Revelation, the sixth chapter and the sixteenth verse. Oh, 15 verse. And so this is regard at this point, young white man, whoever was making that video trying to say that we're not the Israelites, you're going to be dead by thermonuclear missiles or you would have already died from the famine. So this is not regarding this is regarding your elites who've set your degenerate ass up to speak these bold words. So this is Revelations chapter six, verse 15 and the kings of the earth, which are speaking of the elite. It says, and the great man, and the rich man, and the chief captains, and the mighty man, and every bondman, and every free man hid themselves in the dens of the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks, and we're going to go get you talents as well. You Hakanis, you, ooh, 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 you are not the theological authority on this earth, and it's going to be shown when your house shall return. And, 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 it's, it's, and it's no, it's no Pakistani hideout that's going to be able to protect you. There's no Hindu Kush mountains that's going to be able to protect you from the wrath of the Lamb. Verse 16, and said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne. And from the wrath of the Lamb, for the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? And that's how you shall coming on you crackers. That's how you house shot coming on you heathens. Period. Tittle. All right. So we do know that we are the Israelites according to the spirit. According to divine revelations as we saw in Cimaterio in the Greek. You crackers can't touch us. We, I'm literally, I'm just thinking about like these crackers really cannot touch us. When it comes to these, these, these spiritual things, you cannot deal with us. And Esau, when you come physically, the Lord is going to show you what time it is. The Lord is, he indeed is going to show you what time it is. So let's go back to Colossians, because this is full circle. No, I'm not just going on a fanatical rant. No, this is for edification. And though I be rude in speech, not in knowledge. As the pure apostle Paul once said. This is Colossians chapter 1. 
And then this is regarding reconciliation, if I didn't mention it in the beginning. And showing who are those to be reconciled. Because we see here when you read it, the verse, the first verse, it says, or the second verse, it says that this was written to those Israelites in Colosset. Or Colossus, one might say. Strong's G, 2857. What's going on? Colossi. 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 So y'all can hear it. Colossia. As it's pronounced in the Greek. Strong's G, 2857. Mm, Colossi. Not work, work. Colossi. All right. Monstrosities. Mm. All right. So, um, and see these people, they mock us. Why are they doing a video a day? Oh, these, these, uh, these guys, they just, they just zombies. And, no, we're not. These, when we do a video a day, when the, the apostle has required us to do a lesson a day, it's required us to study. It's required us to be diligent. It's required. It's, it is required us to be on fire. While, while you guys have been dragging your, while you've been talking about marriage, eating chicken, fried chicken, and dragging your fucking thumbs, feeling and, and walking with your hands in your pockets, while you've been doing that and have not been building your spirit up, we've been working. We've been a great millstone grinding the mill. And they mock us for us doing the lessons in which we do, which is about edification. It's about w w waking up the elect. But you guys wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Assholes. All right. Like I said, this is full circle. We will speak regarding the reconciliation. But I brought that point up because this is written to the Israelites in Colossia. Uh, and, um, you know, those are the believers in Colossia, one may say. And those are Greeks, one may say. Uh, Hellenistes, may I. But they're not actual physical bloodline Descendants from Yavin, just as Esau is not. Alexander Great is not an actual descendant from J Javan or Yavan, who is the progenitor of those original inhabitants of Grecia. Nor are we, because guess what? The people who call themselves Greeks, when you t when you go into the Hellenistic period, Antiochus, Seleucus, those guys migrated to the Grecian Peninsula, the same way Israelites migrated to the Grecian Peninsula. Were they called Greeks? Was was Alexander the Great called a Greek? Yes. Was he uh, a bloodline descendant from the Greeks? No. Were the Israelites dwelling in did the Israelites dwell in Greece? Yes. Were they was Timothy and T Timotheus, if I'm not mistaken, did they dwell in Greece? Yes. Now, were they actual bloodline descendants from Javan? No. It's called migration. You guys are on a low level, man. So those are Israelites who were scared. That's why in the book of James, the first chapter, in the first verse, he said to the 12 tribes that are scattered abroad, greetings. That's why you go into the book of Isaiah. It said, I will bring thee from the four corners of the earth, from Pathos, which is talking about India, um, pardon me, um, Egypt. He said from Shinar, which is talking about Babylon or Iraq. It says from Elon, which is talking about East India. Now, are those actual heathens that biblically descend from those characters such as Elon? No, it's talking about Israelites who were scattered into those four corners. It's simple. It's easy. You're just in denial. Colossians chapter one. Perfect. We'll start at verse. This is some heavy stuff we're dealing with, if I may add. All right, so this, let's start at verse 21. Colossians chapter 1, verse 21. And it, and it reads, it says, In you that were sometime alienated. Not aliens, but alienated. Let's get that term alienated in the Greek. Put it. 
ったす。はい、It's, um, so in the context, it is, this is it right here. Let me, pardon me, I'm trying to, this word right here. So this is the context, the in, inflicted, which means how it was written when Paul wrote it. It is, I'm going to try my best to pronounce it. Give me one second. It is Apelatraio Minos. Minos. And then the root word is Apalotrio. Apalotrio. Strong's G, right. 526. Apalotrio. Apalatriao. Let's see. Let's go to it. To be or uh, to alienate, to to estrange, to be shut out from one's fellowship and intimacy. So, in and we understand the context, alienate it, or the context in which it was written, is talking about something that was once, uh, amongst once that was a partaker of. But was cast away, that was cut off. As it's written, thou even thyself shall discontinue from thy heritage with the Lord thy God gave thee. That's biblical prophecy. Apalatrio. All right. Which, in the context, as you see, apalatri. Pardon me, that's a tough word. Ap Apelo Apelo Nos All right, which that is that's in the context of saying it such as alienated rather than alienate. All right, so they were alienated, these Israelites were alienated in enemies. Actors, uh. Ectras, ectras. All right, enemies in your mind. By, and so enemies, alienated enemies in your mind. Not by the flesh, not aliens by the actual flesh and, gene, and genealogy, but based upon the philosophies in which they took on, the idolatry. Alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works. By wicked works. It says now. It says now yet. Hath he reconciled. And, so I can, I'm trying to. Goodness come on man. It's ridiculous. It says now hath he reconciled. Which this is the word reconciled. It's a. Uh, a pack. Apakatelazen. All right, coming from Apakatalaso. Reconcile. To reconcile completely. To reconcile back again. When were the heathens ever with the Heavenly Father? When were the heathens ever partakers of the promise of Abraham? Do we have to go to Genesis? Matter of fact, we're going to do it. Or we're going to hurt your feelings because we're going to go to Genesis and bring forth the apologia and the validity of our point, the validity of our point. The, those who were brought back are those who were once a part of it. Who were a part of it? The Israelites. It says, bring back a former, a former. This is not a new thing. This is talking about something that uh, bringing back a, that's why Yahweh Shah said, I have come not but to save the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yahweh Shai, he said that out of his own mouth of Matthews. What are you degenerates talking about? What are you, what are you guys talking about? Who do who you think you fooling? You can go fool some stupid ass nigga who don't even um, consider himself an Israelite. That's fine. But you're not going to confuse the elect. You're not going to deceive the elect. That dude, that individual who asked you that question, he does not matter. As it is written, let the multitude perish which were born in vain. This thing is about the elect. It's not about some, some nigga who, who, don't, who will refuse to even identify himself as an Israelite. That's a low level. 
That's a very low level. Who you think you fooling? <laughs> you capsule and Esau is the ultimate capper. This nigga Esau is a, a complete capper. And that's why those little heads keep a cap on them. Because they ain't nothing but a liars and deceivers. They just a they just a bunch of cappers. A, a bunch of wicksters. <laughs> <laughs> the little caps, man. That's <laughs> the spirit that y'all be wearing them little caps, man. You're a bunch of cappers, man. And when I say cappers, for those who don't understand, that's that's Atlanta lingo, which is spread abroad. More people use it than Atlanta now, but it simply means somebody who's lying. Somebody, a, a capper or somebody, I, I remember back when I was growing up, they say, you're ball capping. Somebody who's Who's not being sincere, not being, and that's through the spirit, because we are commanded when we pray and prophesy to take our to uncover our head. When we give our testimony to uncover our head, that's the spirit of things. Wow, the Lord is heavy, He's deeper than y'all thought, deeper than I thought. So um, it says to bring back to a former state of harmony. That's the term reconcile. So how how are you getting heathens? How are you getting other nations in this? When they were never a part of the a former state of harmony. They and ooh, ooh. You know what this also shows you? I'm gonna read that again. Bring back a former state of harmony. You know what that also shows you? In the book of in the book of St. John, the third chapter, in the 16th verse, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth on him shall have everlasting life. Now, one, when you go to that term, whosoever, uh, a precept for that, I believe, is in the book of Romans or the book of Acts. It says, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Then it says, the, next, the very next verse, it says, ye men of Israel, hear these words. I believe that's the book of Acts, the second chapter and the 21st verse. So that's showing you, that's a precept for the whosoever. But this is also a precept. This reconciliation is a precept for that term world, because when you go into that term world in the Greek, you get the term cosmos or some would pronounce cosmos, which means harmonious. It means harmonious arrangement, government, that government or that harmonious arrangement is speaking of the nation of Israel. It's chiefly is speaking of the elect. You Edomites, you can't keep up with us, nor you other Israelite groups. And we're not saying that out of hate. It's just, it's, it's, it's the truth. It's the truth. You guys are not on, the, on our level. It's the truth. That's why you teach this bullshit. That's why you don't teach the, the, the thing. You don't teach the Quran. You don't teach, you don't teach a lot of stuff, man. You guys are going off because of your pride. It was the apostles who were anointed to lead the charge, man. That's the truth. But you guys don't want to accept it because you're proud. But that is the truth. Do we have to get John the third chapter and the sixteenth verse? Let's let's see if I'm lying. Let's see if I'm just pulling that pulling this out of my backside like Esau did, like that damn white man did, trying to talk about we not the Israelites. Talking about there's nothing biblically proven and connecting them to being the Israelites. Shut your country ass up, nigga. We obviously are the Israelites. All right. For God so loved the world. Let's get that term world. I, All right, let's get that, that term world, which is cosmos. Am I lying? Was I lying? Was a line. Harmonious arrangement, order, government. This world is speaking about the government of the nation of Israel. Is it talking about the Soviet Union? Is it talking about that government? One that was not harmoniously arranged. Is it talking about America? Is it talking about Israel? Israel has two political, they have multiple political parties. How is that a harmonious arrangement? How is the state of Israel a harmonious arrangement if you claim that they are the legitimate? Israelites. Why do they have different political parties? Where is David? Why? What's, what's the nigga name? 
Netanyahu. Why? What the fuck is, is that? Was he David? He not even in. He's not even in power anymore. He's not even in office. Is this nigga Nephtali Bennett? Is he David? It said that David should rule over them. That's what the prophecy says. Just stand at this point. Just stand down. Just stand down. I don't even understand why you guys still try to. You should just shut up. You should just go in a corner. You should just go and you should just shut the hell up, man. These, these people over here debating. They got different political parties. They got infighting. They don't even got the control of all Jerusalem. But what did the promise say? Then what did the promise say that would uh what did the promise say in the book of Genesis? What landmass would the Israelites inherit at the full fruition of the blessing? Let's go into let's go to it in the book of Genesis. I told you I was gonna go, go I told you that we was gonna go in, go into Genesis. Pardon me, I'm a little excited. Pardon me. Showing you that you're illegitimate. You should, like I said, you should just shut up, man. Because you're making it worse. You're making it worse on yourself. Ooh, I seen something about a covenant. Matter of fact, let's let's read this real quick. But I will, I'm gonna go to verse. I'm gonna go to the verse that I wanted. But since we seen this, I see the word covenant several times right here. I feel like I'm. Uh, I have to read this. So this is um. Genesis, the 17th chapter. And when Abraham was 90 years old and nine, the Yahweh appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am the almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. Woo! Which, him being perfect is him being complete. Him having integrity. <clears throat> it says, um... Verse two, it says, and I will make my covenant between me and thee and will multiply thee exceedingly. So what the covenant is with his seed. The covenant is with his seed and not just his seed, but the peculiar seed of Isaac. Because remember, Abraham petitioned for Ishmael. I'm not sure if it's going to be in this chapter. Abraham petitioned for Ishmael. But the Lord said, I have not chosen Ishmael. I've chosen Isaac. And who came out of Isaac? Jacob. Who came out of Jacob? David. Our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shad, all the prophets. Us, the Israelites. But these guys, they hate the Israelites. You guys hate us. And it's okay. And you're not hating us, you're hating God. And he gonna he and he gonna he gonna wipe your nose. He will wipe your nose. Verse 2. It says, and I will make my covenant between thee and will multiply thee exceedingly. And Abraham fell on his face and God talked with him saying, as for me, behold, my covenant is with thee and thou shall be a father of many nations, which those nations are the Israelites. All right. Which well, he's a father of many nations, such as the Ishmaelites. The Arab, he's a father of the Arabs, the, the so-called white people. They're, they're children of Abraham. Not by the promise, though. They just... See, they're the son of perdition. They're the, they're the son, they're the rebellious child who did not receive the blessing of the promise. They received the blessing of this world. That's why, as we read earlier, Esau have I hated, because they're the devil the Bible speaks of. But they come from Abraham as well. But truly the children of Abraham are the Israelites. Those are the true people of Abraham. All right. Many nations have I made thee. Verse 6, it says, and I will make thee exceedingly fruitful, and I will make many nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. We're just talking about the Israelites um, specifically. Now, yes, when you deal with the Seljuk Empire, when you deal with the um, the Ottoman, when you deal with the American, the 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 Grecian, the Nazi Germany, those all these people descend from Esau as well. When you deal with the Caliphate, these people descend from Esau. I mean, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. These people descend from um, Abraham because a the Arabs descend from Abraham, the so-called white race, they descend from Abraham, and the Israelites who are the blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians, we also descend from Abraham. But the who are the people of the promise? Hmm? Well, matter of fact, we're going to the New Testament to get it. But let me continue on this. Let me see what else we got here. Uh, yep. 
So because I wanted to get the geography to bring forth a legit, legitimacy to my point. All right, it says, and I will give unto thee and to thy seed after thee the land wherein thou art a, a, art a stranger, all the land of Canaan for an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. And when you really go into it deeply, that land of Canaan is talking about the whole Middle East. And we're going to get that in the book of Revelations, the, um, pardon me, pardon me, Genesis, the 15th chapter. But historically, during the time of Abraham, the, that whole Middle East was ruled by Canaanites and Amorites. When you deal with the, the, Akkadian, the Akkadian Empire, when you deal with the Akkadian Empire under um, Hamadabi, if I'm not mistaken, or what's the other, the Babylonian. Well, nevertheless, the Akkadian Empire, the, uh, the uh, old Assyrian Empire, the uh, old Babylonian Empire, not talking about the one from Nimrod, but the, the Babylon of during the time of roughly like 2000 BC, 1500 BC. This this time period, this landmass was ruled by um, um, Canaanites. They were ruled by Amorite warlords. The different provinces, when you deal with the old Assyrian Empire before the Neo Assyrian was even established, that was ruled by a, a Canaanite or Amorite warlord. All right? So. That landmass, all of that landmass is technically Canaan. All right. No, but chiefly the the citadel of that landmass is what you will consider Jerusalem, Damascus. You know that that vicinity. That's the citadel of it. But according to the prophecy, which we're gonna get it. I'm actually about to get it right now. Um, all of the landmass from the river Egypt to the river Euphrates. Uh, is was promised to Abraham's seed. It says, And God said unto Abraham, Thou shalt keep my covenant, therefore thou and thy seed after thee in their generations. So e e the Esau, is that talking about Esau? Esau descended from Abraham. Is that talking about Esau? But in the book of Hebrews it said, Lest there any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. That's what it say. And it said that afterward he found no place for repentance, though he sought it uh, with tears. That's what it says in the book of Hebrews in the New Testament. So that's not talking about Esau. Esau is the devil. You so-called white people are the devil, the Bible speaks of. That's pursuant to the book of Revelations. That old serpent, the devil, which deceived the whole earth. That's talking about them. It's talking about Joe. And we, you're not going to do it, Joe. <laughs> we did it, Joe. No, you, you didn't do shit. You about to eat a missile. All right. But let me go to um so for the geography. Showing you that these people, those little hat guys, the <laughs> those cappers. I'm about to start calling them crackers cappers. Those cappers in um Jerusalem, they are not the children of the promise. Those are Edomites. Fraudulently uh, pretending to be us. Those guys are not Israelites. And indeed, we want all the smoke, Cracker. We're not scared of you damn devils. Get the fuck out of our land. It's all right. The scripture says there should be a great shaking in the land of Israel. We're not going to put a, we're not going to lift a, a finger to you. The Lord going to weed you out with nuclear missiles. How about that? The Iranian Quds Force is going to shoot stuff in your way, nigga. Hmm? Hmm? The Russians, Magog, God is going to shoot something. They're going to shoot something your way, according to the prophecy. And of course, Yahweh Shah is going to meet and check you crackers in Jehoshaphat. Let me see here. Where is that verse? Damn it, where's that verse? Let me go, let me just type in river, I'll find it. Yeah, it was right in front of my face. All right, so this is Genesis chapter 15, verse 18. In the same day, Yahweh made a covenant with Abraham, 
saying unto thy seed, which is talking about the seed of Israel, by the way, have I given this land from the river of Egypt, which is talking about the Nile River, unto the great river, the river Euphrates, which obviously is talking about the Euphrates rivers of the Levant um, in the Iraq. All right. So that's talking about essentially the entirety of the Middle East from Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Yemen, Lebanon, Syria, um, Kuwait, all that, all of that. It's talking about that's the land of the prophets, Egypt, Ethiopia. On the on the uh, eastern portion of the of the river. Turkey. OK, that's the land of the promise. This no, all right, now that, <laughs> the reason why I brought that out now, let's bring it full circle. Do, do those look do those cappers, do those little hats, do they have control over all that landmass? No, they don't. No, they don't. Do they control Iraq? No, they don't. Do they control Kuwait? Saudi? Well, actually, I'm not going to lie to you. The House of Saul are Edomites. They perpetrating to be Arabs, but they're actually Edomites. You go into the House of Saul and you go into their name. A part of their name is, Tur is Turk. Turk is a part of their name. Now, the Turks, the Turks descend from Esau. The Turks... Convert, who converted to Islam, they actually are Edomites. So those of the Seljuk Empire, when you read about the Seljuks, you read about the Ottomans, those are crackers, those are Edomites. From the uh, tribe of Amalek, by the way. All right. So, um, but the point being, they, they don't have control over that landmass. The Turk, the, the Saudi Arabians can't even goddamn put the... Um, who is them? Is it Hezbollah? Um, is it Hezbollah? No, it's not Hezbollah. It's um, what's that militia? They can't even put Yemen in check. Those uh, damn, what is that? What are they called? I'm gonna be mad if I can't remember. It's not his. It's um. Hold on, give me one second. Oh, shit. Um, I believe it's um goodness sake, I forgot them niggas' name. All right, anyway, they they don't even have that, that peninsula in check. They don't even have the Iranians in check, all right? Neither do the Israelis. So they're not the people of the promise. They're not the people of the land. I've, I've made my point. Shalom, keep the faith.